Damn, cuz. Now you know they ain't shit. <laughs> I want to talk about this because us as humans, sometimes we can come off as shitty individuals even if we are not. And our something can be misconstrued, or there can be different things that just take place that may place you in a position of something you are not. Like, let's just say you have to meet up with somebody and instead of you driving there, maybe you want to Uber because you're going to be drinking. The Uber is late, so you might look bad for a first impression. But as time go on and you hang around people more, friends, coworkers, whomever, they'll be able to see the truth in you either way. So if you are a shitty person wholeheartedly versus a person who just happen to be going through maybe one of those hard times or shitty times, it's a difference. I have placed myself around all walks of life. The majority of my life I have had male friends and I've, I've had female friends as well. I've just been one of these airy type energies where people don't mind being around me and being themselves because I let them be so a lot of people have been around me even if I'm nothing like them so that whole you are who you hang with thing lol to other people it will look that way and if you do hang around them too long we don't want no energy transfers anything rubbing off <laughs> but um Okay, so I have hung around certain people that, of course, once they show me their true self, I'm done with them. Like, I've had um, moments when I would be in beauty school. And there was another person there. We start getting along with each other. I thought she was fun and cool. She liked to do music, and so do I. My thing is, I definitely support people. I wholeheartedly listen to them. I act and actually do care. And I really do want to interact with people and really do want to listen. And that's kind of hard for some people because if people are not that same kind of energy back, then you yourself might find it hard to be around a lot of people the older you get because i'm gonna tell you one truth right now it doesn't matter what group or circle a human is in they are still human and they still have their traits and their personality their characteristics whatever they've been through in life no matter what religion or spiritual groups or anything they're in they still have them damn human traits I know that hanging out with this person from beauty school, she told me that a guy would use her to flirt with guys. That way he can rob them. And then she started telling me about how she likes to still. And my thing is, okay, I can't judge because when I was younger, I followed some elders in my family and we would go to Claire's and take keychains. And my whole thing was, it's from a store, it's not from people. I will never take from people, that's just mean. But believe me, I realized it's just not cool regardless. I realized all of that at 18. But um, I realized another thing as well that I can't hang around people that like to still <laughs> like okay you know do you but i'm not going to be a part of that so for some reason people love opening up and telling me some of their deepest darkest things and due to that i know that i more than ever put a guard up not only because people tell me things but sometimes i don't know if you have ever been in a situation where you can look in one's eyes and see certain things. I have that ability looking in people's eyes and I just read them. 
a lot of times I read things and it's very uncomfortable because in the majority of humans' eyes, there is something there that might be sad, might be worried some, or some things that they went through in their past. And um, so, yeah, being able to tap into that and then the person being open and talking to you and telling you everything anyway shows you a whole different side of the human race. <laughs> and I remember one time, it's been a lot of times, I don't know why I say one time, I used to have another friend and no matter how much I tried to get away from them, they would find me and beg me. <laughs> but um, they just start telling all their little gems like, yeah, do this and you'll be able to have this. Not no good do this, you'll be able to have this. It's when they get out of the room check all of their stuff and you can still little small things they won't even notice lol and i'm just sitting here listening to this like this person has to be the dumbest person in the world to tell someone this and not think that that person isn't going to look at them different and of course i did because they stole from me and it all just came around like oh wow that's what happened to this and that. I knew it was gone. And this is the person that took it. <laughs> and then you also have, like I said, I've hung around a lot of guys. You know, still to this day, a lot of guys are still my friends. And being friends with guys let you in on a lot of secrets. Or I wouldn't really call them secrets. Because once you've been human long enough, you see how humans are. And you see what they may want to pull over on people they are able to. With that being said, guys used to tell me all the time all the little things they do to women. To play them or to finesse them. How you don't just talk to them or nah, leave them hanging or... Ha ha ha, see how I did that? You know, all these kind of things. I have been around it. I have been around guys doing all of these things. And I'm just looking like, are you serious? And then they turn around and want to holler at me. LOL. It's a no for me. But um, it's funny because I realized that it's a lot of people that will do people ways they do not want to be done themselves but if they are allowed they will do it to someone else isn't that crazy <laughs> things you would never want done to you you love doing it to other people or let's just say maybe it's been done to you growing up and now you're doing it to other people yes we know hurt people hurt people misery loves company they make you feel like you're the misery. I've been around so many people that show me so many things they do. Girls talking about how they get over on guys and money and sex. And the same with guys getting over on chicks, money and sex. How to play chicks. What makes them feel important. What is it with um, men that I've hung around always telling me? Women? I shouldn't say that about all men. Some men just... <sighs> Some people just ain't shit, you know? And I've been around all walks of life. The only person that has not opened up to me in a certain way is a person who's still hiding something fiercely that's a you know like if a guy or a girl is hiding sexuality that might be something that they can't let go of to anyone but i have had a few guys that have low-key opened up to me about that but it's crazy that it happens and sometimes you might feel like why are they letting me know this and holy shit i'm scared now <laughs> They don't hurt me because I know your secret, please. But, um, yeah, that's funny because uh, with that being said, I noticed that I do attract 
Well, if you are a certain type of light and energy, you will attract everything. So that's why I kind of do agree and disagree with like attract like. Because some energy attract all. And I know that. I know that who's attracted to me. <laughs> I know the ones that are going to definitely try me are going to be the narcissistic men. The men who are hiding their sexuality. And then you got the ones who like me. For real. Long story short, if you allow people to be ancient people to you, honey, believe me, they are going to swim in it. They are going to bathe in it. They are even going to fuck in it. So, once you realize you have that kind of energy that makes any and everything want to come towards you, especially the passive-aggressive type energies, the narcissistic type energies, the energies that want to be toxic and abusive. You definitely know that you are a light bearer of some type. <laughs> or definitely some empathical, magical light. Some type of seed. Some type of light that a, it's like a moth to a flame. And... Um, let's just say some people are just sweet and innocent and nice, loving, gullible, and all these different things that people take for granted. That's when you get a lot of ancient people. Even if these people are, to other people, good or have never done this to other people. But for you, they lay it on you. That's why it's, it's just crazy to try to figure out who's really a good person or not. Because even people that we say are, oh, they're good. They've probably been an asshole or really mean to someone else. That allowed them to be that way because that person was nice. I always say this. How you treat someone is not their fault. Even if they allow it because they're nice and easygoing and pure-hearted. That shows how you are and that shows your character it's kind of like people who never had money and they get to get rich how are they gonna spend that money are people who never been noticed and they get a little bit of fame how are they using that fame <laughs> you know what I'm saying it's just the same with being around a person that has all these good energies and qualities they get around that they don't know how to act either so damn cuz, sorry to tell you, it's just that people just ain't shit sometimes. And whenever we see that or feel that happening, we gotta snap out of it, cut it off. And people like me, I know that, especially if you're younger or you have not had that moment yet where you have mastered this type of shit, then it's hard. It's so hard and you don't want to hurt nobody or you don't want to be hurt or them wanting to blame shift or turn around on you or call you crazy because you're tripping or something. Because <laughs> you're not tripping either. People like to play dumb as fuck and play the victim when they do you wrong. It's just simple as that. I said this in one of my videos before how the bully always plays the victim. And they might be somewhere in some other parts of their lives and also every bully has not lived a painful life okay just the same as every drug addict just the same as every alcoholic they all have not lived painful lives some grew up in the richest homes spoiled as heck with the golden silver platinum damn spoon of the ass with everything handed to them and they've never been touched you know what I mean? So I just, you know, it just is what it is. There's humans out here that just ain't shit. Once you start seeing these patterns, because there's patterns, once you can see that pattern and realize exactly what it is, that is your moment to be free from the ain't shit people. And also to make sure you don't let people come around and not be shit towards you. 
like I said, being around so many different people growing up and just letting my, and just, and being open and easygoing and trustworthy around people. It makes a lot of people want to be around me and it also makes people open up in the best of ways and also in the weirdest and scariest of ways. So I've seen a lot. I have. I've seen a lot and I won't just say seen a lot. I've heard a lot. A lot of people have put a lot of their stories on me. <laughs> a lot of their mischief and a lot of their bad behavior. A lot of their secrets, what they like to call secrets and gems of how they get over on people. I guess my best lesson came from men. Hanging around men all the time. And them giving me the gems. And me just flat out seeing it myself. I can tell you that out of a lot of reasons of being single, it won't keep you single. But if you have been around a lot of men, guys growing up, and you've mostly been friends with guys, you see the truth. <laughs> and it's a sad truth. It's a sad truth. And the older you get, it even gets worse. It gets more sad because one saying is only thing better than is new. And if you are a lady, you'll realize that <laughs> the older you get. But um, it's crazy. It's crazy the things that people will say and do if they feel like they can get away with it. It's crazy how people will treat you. It's been a lot going on. My intuition, a lot of crazy things been going on my way. My intuition's been off. It's been off its rockers. I'm talking about intuition, not just dreams. I'm, it's a lot going on right now. So I know I'm in an emotional place. So um. All I can say is I hope that you don't allow people to be shitty towards you and that we can just be better towards each other. For real, for real. I know it's not like a cheesy fairy tale movie script, but I laugh at myself because of the things I have allowed people to do to me. And I am happy that I am definitely leveled up I'm glad that I have leveled up but it's still painful oh como me duele favorite sayings because at the end of the day that's all can happen that's all that can happen for real I just hope that you guys stay real to self and don't let no one hurt you as far as continuously. Once you see these patterns, it's, now it's time for you to level up and be strong. I love you guys. Sandra DeSanto. Have a wonderful Saturday. Over and out. Bye.